Some rag ride riders tell us they were a bit worried when they heard there's only one campground at Waterworks Park until they got here and saw this space and tents for days on days going back further where people are staying overnight. Well, this is wonderful. This is more than enough room. And I knew it had to be big when I looked on the map and there's this one campground for the RVs. And Waterworks Park is proving not to disappoint. Rag ride riders rolling into the campgrounds throughout the day making it their home for the night. <laughs> like Marta Mason and her friends, who are more than happy to be at Waterworks Park following the ride from Ames. The reception riding into town is uh, it's fantastic. Like I videotape almost every time, just people just lining the streets. The friends are just one group of thousands of tents scattered across the park. And because of how big Waterworks Park's campground is. It's a lot of uh, driving, waiting. RVs and campers are not too far away from the tents. It's where the support drivers like Scott Clark wait for their teams to show up while enjoying the view. You know, you can get to meet different people and talk to different people and see where they're from and you know, that's kind of cool. Scott is used to riding in Ragbri, but this year he's in charge of making sure his friends have a comfortable place to stay in. It's a lot of work, a lot of navigating, you know, a lot of logistics, a lot of planning. A lot more goes into the support than, than I thought. A lot of work for a good time, something campers like Eric Geffert says he's having, especially with how the campground is set up. And I like where the main stage is. I can go for a little five minute bike ride, get there, watch Leonard Skinner, come back and get a good night rest. In Waterworks Park, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.